Hey everybody, Matt here for AVC and welcome back to the shop. You know, it's been a while since we've posted on YouTube, so I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of check in with you and let you know what's been going on here at the shop. Last February, we moved into a new space. Uh, we upgraded to 6,500 square feet, which gave us a lot more room for a filming studio. We have a nice new showroom for our customers. We have a lot more area for our DIY packaging and shipping. And when we moved in here, boy, we hit the ground running. We've been super busy but we finally got a chance to come back to YouTube and start making content for you again. Last year, we finished up our YouTube series with a visit to the Adventure Van Expo. We love hitting these shows because it's a great chance for us to meet you, our fellow builders, get some really good feedback on what we're doing well, what we can improve on. Uh, we get a really good chance to see your builds. And we love seeing your builds, seeing your vans. And it's a really fun show to go to. So whether you have a brand new build or you've had your van for a little while, uh, there's a lot of things to learn. You can see all sorts of cool new products in the industry and you can meet some really cool people. This year in 2024, we plan to attend five different shows. We're going to be going to San Juan Capistrano, May 4th and 5th. We're going to be going to Santa Rosa, California, May 11th and 12th. We're going to be doing Hood River up in Oregon on June 22nd and 23rd. We're going to be cruising by Boise, Idaho on June 29th and 30th. And then we're wrapping up our series for us this year uh, here in Evergreen, our home show, Evergreen, Colorado, July 27th and 28th. We have a bunch of new products that we're really looking forward to showing you. And the first time we're going to be showing them off in person is that San Juan Capistrano show. So make sure you're there. So let's talk a little bit about what AVC is and what we hope to do with this channel. So I started AVC back in 2017 and my goal was to be the Ikea of vans. I really wanted to ship flat pack furniture, uh, build kits, things like that to you at home so you can build these vans a little bit cheaper and a little bit more professionally. Now, I know and you know that vans have been getting a lot more expensive. And although we don't like paying more money, I would say the build quality of vans has really come up since 2017. It's really cool to see our industry developing and really maturing. And the products out there that I see are better and better every year. So the products that we offer here at AVC are a little bit on the basic side. And the idea behind that is that you can do those modifications at home. Our ultimate goal is to keep the cost down the best we can. And what that means is the products have to be somewhat generalized but that gives you the most opportunity to be doing customizations at home on your own builds. Our philosophy for our kits is to offer them uh, with the best value in mind, but also give you a lot of different varieties. And what that means is we offer our wall kit in three different ways. We offer a premium material, Baltic Birch. We offer a little bit cheaper material, Underlayment, which still makes a perfectly good van. And then we also offer it in our most economical option, which is just a paper pattern. So we ship you that paper, you cut it out yourself at home, and you can build your van. And we try to do that with all of our different products. So we offer them at multiple different levels so that you can pick and choose what trade-offs you wanna make at home. If you wanna trade off time for money or if you wanna save some bucks and put a little more sweat into your van. So what that means is that you're gonna to have to do some of the work with these products. And that's where our YouTube channel comes in. So the whole point of our YouTube channel is to teach you how to build these vans yourself in the most professional way possible. We've seen a lot of amazing builds get done at home and this works a little bit in two ways. One, you'll watch these videos and you're gonna get inspired to build your own van and learn the professional way to do it. The other way is you're gonna watch these videos and realize I don't want anything to do with that. And that's okay. You know, we do a lot of half projects for people at home. We cut in windows, we finish interiors, we install heaters for them, and then they can pick it up from there and do the creative bits, make the van their own, and do some of the things that as a shop, we just can't do for customizations. Our initial goal with this channel was to teach you to get to the point of what we call the interior-based package. And what that is, it's our ceiling, our lights, our insulation, your flooring, everything to get a completely finished interior in your van. And that's the most common universal thing for everybody's build out. We all want a nice looking interior that's warm and cozy. But from there, everybody's needs are gonna differ. So, you know, your kitchen is gonna be a different place. Maybe you don't need four seats, but you do need an interior shower. And so at that point, that's kind of where we paused our channel. And at this point going forward, we're gonna be doing a little bit more specific content. So looking at specific cabinets, specific products, uh, and setting things up that are gonna be a little bit less universal. But we do wanna revisit some of those early videos and some of those lessons that are gonna to apply to most people. And this is what I need your help with. Let us know in the comments below, what are some of the pieces that we missed along that journey? You know, if there was something that we taught you how to do early in our series that just needs some revisiting, or maybe we need a little bit more clarification, we can hit that. I already have a few ideas of some of the content that we kind of missed on early in the days. And now that we're a little more comfortable in front of the camera, uh, we can do a little bit better job teaching you how to achieve some of those uh, 
projects. So we're gonna be using this comment section as a bit of our roadmap on what content we need to finish. So please do leave us a comment and that's gonna help us build better content for you. So that kind of covers what we've been doing in the past year at ABC. You know, we've been building Baltic Birch cabinetry and sending them to you as home builders. But to be honest, I wasn't super happy with that Baltic Birch product. Uh, in order to get it to you and to deliver value, we had to send them raw, but we had to charge so much that I just didn't feel good about the product we were delivering to you. Uh, there's some challenges that come up with shipping wood products across the US, chipping, warping, things like that. And frankly, they're kind of heavy. And so uh, we just couldn't offer them in a pre-finished material. So we went back to the drawing board and we redesigned everything that we offer. We're building all of the same cabinets that we used to offer, but now we're offering them in aluminum and they're still getting manufactured right here in the US. Uh, just about everything is produced between Utah and Colorado. So we're super proud to be making products right here in the US for you. And they're gonna ship easier. I think they're gonna deliver better value. And I think ultimately we're all gonna be happier with those. Here as a builder, we're also transitioning to aluminum cabinets. So you know that the same stuff that we use as a professional build shop are the same products we offer you as a home builder. So that's it for our channel update. Let's jump inside and take a tour of the shop. So in here, this is our showroom slash meeting room. Uh, this is where we like to sit down with customers. We can go over your build details of your van. We can choose textures and colors. Uh, and then uh, it's also a nice place to sit down and kind of hang out while we do some small jobs. So if we're installing a heater for you or cutting in some windows, it's a place you can set up your laptop and jump on the Wi-Fi and work remotely. Uh, we can also take a look at some of the new cool stuff we have coming out. Uh, we go over uh, some of the new products that we have and you get a little bit of a sneak peek here at some of the things we haven't launched yet too. Uh, and then if we transition into here, this is our group office. So this is where we meet as a team. Uh, we can do our project planning. We can go over our agenda for the day. Uh, it's also where Stuart and I do a lot of our work. So we have our media editing rig over here. Stuart has his shipping desk over there. Uh, behind me, we have our laser cutter and our 3D printer. Uh, we got a big TV up here because we like to hang out and play on the weekends. So we'll put on some YouTube and uh, just kind of play with the cool toys at the shop. And then uh, through here over on my right is my office. This is where I do all my CAD design work and things like that. Uh, nice, this is my first time having my own office, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, if we transition this way, we can walk into our DIY packaging center. So this is where we receive all of our products, all of our metal work, we put it into boxes, we put our kits together. This is where everything that you receive gets packaged and put together and shipped out directly to you. It's a much bigger space than what we used to have, and I think we're gonna eat up a little bit more of the shop room, making more room for new cool products. If we keep coming through the DIY Packaging Center here, you can see some of our pre-packaged roof racks. Uh, we also got our Makita Babe nostalgic posters here. Maybe someday we'll be featured in a Makita calendar. Until then, we'll just keep working hard. Uh, if we transition here, this is kind of our production wood shop area. So we got all of our project hardware over here on the wall. Uh, we like to do these little pack out bins that we can bring out to the vans. Each one has a specific job so we can take them into the van and get that work done. Uh, and then this main room here is just kind of our wood shop. So uh, we do have a table saw. We don't do a ton of work on the table saw, but we do have one. We have some wall kits that are pre-wrapped and ready to go. We got our insulation, our fabrics. We do a lot of upholstery in this room. So it's, a, it's kind of the dirtiest space in the shop. Uh, through this door is a bunch of our inventory. This is where we're gonna keep more of the expensive items, our S-bar furnaces, all of our electrical equipment plumbing equipment, things like that. It's nice to have that all separated into another room, helps them keep clean. Uh, we got our big project whiteboard here so we can kind of keep track of what's coming up for us as a shop. Uh, and then as we transition into the back space here, this is where a lot of the work gets done. So we got uh, laminate layup tables. We're actually laying up some laminates right now so we can cut some cabinets in house. We all, have, all of our overstock of laminates are hanging out over here. Uh, and then if you look into the main space here, uh, all of our project tables are on wheels so we can roll them around and do whatever we need to do. So we have a CNC right behind me. That's where we cut all of our cabinets, all of our wall kits, all of our flooring. Comes off that CNC into this room, gets finished and ready to go into the vans. Uh, these are our material stacks. So we have a lot of our scraps here. We like to give away scraps to our local builders around uh, Loveland, Colorado. There's a lot of cool local craftsmen that pick up scraps from us and build the cool stuff. Uh, and then we can transition back here into the main project build area. So this is our vehicle bay. Uh, there's enough room to put two vans inside here. And we have, a, we have some plans to remodel this place, so you'll, you'll see some updates come to this area. But we have our current build. Why don't you come and take a look at what we got going on? So up here, this is a high roof 148 Ford Transit. This is a trail edition, so you can see it was a bigger step to climb up into here. We got a bunch of our initial prep work done. We just laid our subfloor system down, and we're prepping to put in our vinyl floor. 
Uh, we have all of our pre-wire run, all of our insulation, all of our vehicle penetrations done, and we're ready to get cranking on this build. Then as we transition here in the rest of the bay, we have one of our project tables rolled over here because we're doing some custom solar for this customer, putting 600 watts of solar up on the roof of this van. Uh, this is our shipping door. So we got a bunch of packages that are prepped and shipping out to you. Uh, these things ship all over the country. Here's one local Colorado, Washington, California, a little bit of everything. Uh, we do have our CNC's, a four by eight CNC, so we can cut kind of that standard size material. Then if we transition back over here, watch your step as we navigate through all these boxes. Uh, we call this the break room, but uh, it's not much of a break room. Honestly, it's where we keep our snacks. But one of the cool things about this shop, is we actually have a full shower. So you van lifers, if you're coming by, you can always pop in and grab a hot shower uh, while you're on the road and freshen up. It's kind of a cool feature for us. Uh, so we'll walk back through here. Uh, we'll go through that DIY center and we can show you our new studio. So this is our studio. Uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of content filmed right here in, at this table. It's a really good place for us to set up a new product, go over some cool details with you. And it makes it just super easy for us to keep working in the back and keep it noisy back there and keep it nice and quiet up here so we can film some content. So that's it for our shop tour. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the new AVC rig. Uh, we're super excited to be back on YouTube and making content for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.